Park. Just meters from the slides and swing set on the other side of the fence, one of Canada's busiest freight lines. A year and a half ago, residents here formed a rail safety group. We're looking for um, some answers. They wrote to Transport Canada and under access to information law asked what dangerous goods are passing by their homes and what safety plans are in place. This is what you got back? Right. Withheld. They basically said they withheld the whole thing, that uh, they claimed four different exemptions, and so we got nothing. It's, they're all just... It's, just it's blank. So it's ridiculous that people like us who live this close to the railways, this is the main CP rail line that runs across the country. Uh, it is the same track uh, where the uh, train that exploded in Lac Vigantic in 2013 passed through. It passed right through the middle of Toronto. CBC's also been asking for all sorts of rail safety information. Now, Transport Canada's released pages and pages, but the key details are all blacked out. Audits, national alerts, safety letters. The government's reasoning for not making it public? Commercial financial interests of the railways. The new federal government has pledged greater openness, greater transparency. The Prime Minister promising changes. When uh, media can do their jobs of holding us to account and asking tough questions, uh, when uh, disclosure and access to information is just the way uh, Parliament behaves. So far, Transport Canada is still blacking out documents and declining to answer questions about what they're finding out on the railways or what they as regulator are doing to force rail companies to fix the problems. Dave Seglin, CBC News, Toronto.